Hello there everyone, my name is Nathan Birch and today I will be going through a sample alarm clock application. So before I go into this and showing you guys mine, uh, I just wanted to walk through our feature list here for this for this final project for this for this class. So um, basically we'll go ahead and start with a single page. If you guys want to go above and beyond, I gave some suggestions below on how to do that. Uh, but here's what every one of these should have at the very least, okay? It should show the current time and update the seconds as they pass. So I should be able to see basically the second hand of a clock uh, if, if I'm a user. Uh, it shows a fun image that should motivate someone to wake up. Uh, this should be loaded from JavaScript, okay? Uh, I threw in a little stretch challenge right here. Go ahead and change that image when the alarm goes off. Uh, shows a dynamic background also loaded from JavaScript. This could be as simple as having just a CSS color and have a JavaScript go ahead and assign that as the background color, which is what I did. Um, shows all current alarms that are set, have a nice list that shows all of them. Uh, includes a form to add new alarms. Add validation to the form to ensure that only alarms are added if they have a unique title and a time. And when an alarm goes off, show something different on the page and play a sound. Have a button to turn off the alarm. Uh, and then I have a couple of other thoughts here. Uh, one thing that I haven't put in here yet is having a browser cookie. Uh, because in my application, for example, as soon as I refresh the page or close my browser or whatever, that alarm's gone, okay? I don't have any type of mechanism to save that. If we didn't want a database, a very simple mechanism to do that would be to have a browser cookie, and so we could save the alarm timestamps in our browser cookies. Uh, but let's go ahead and look at this real quick. So uh, you can see I have the second hand right here that's updating. Uh, nice, awesome image, beautiful color. I wanted it to be sunshiny. And I have a list of current alarms and I have a form to create a new alarm. I'll go ahead and say wake up and I'll set the time. Let's see, it's going to be five, that's AM. So my regular application, I actually have this to only be in 15 minute increments. So 506 and I'll hit submit. You can see it popped up over here and the alarm is about to sound. Okay, so the music came on. Alarm is sounding popped up, and we have a button right here to silence. Okay, pretty slick, right? Um, I could put more alarms in here as well and submit them. Uh, oh, look at that. Please enter a unique title for your alarm. So we have a little bit of form validation here. So let me just say wake up again and submit that, and you can see that pops up as well. Okay, um, so that's pretty much it for my alarm clock application. I guess the, the one last thing that I wanted to show you was this. So I only have one file, uh, but right here is, is my little project, my alarm clock application. Okay, um, I have uh, site.js and site.css. These will be site-wide. So right now I only have one HTML file that I'm using, which is this home.html. But once I get more HTML pages in here, it'll be nice to have um, site wide CSS and JavaScript if there's something that I'm going to need for all the pages. I could have these for all of them. And for every HTML file that I'll have, I'll go ahead and put it in a folder with its own CSS file and its own JavaScript file. Okay, so if I was going to make like a preferences page, I'd go ahead and make a new folder called preferences. And then inside of preferences, I'd have preferences.html.css and .js. Okay, um, let's see the readme. You guys wouldn't have that. That's basically what I just showed you guys um, right here, okay, to kind of just write all this up for you. Um, and then the last thing we have right here is assets. Um, and the only thing I have right here is just a little MP3, MP3, MP3 file that I downloaded. Um, the image that I used, it was just, I just used an image link from Google that I found for that. I don't know if you could do that with an MP3. I don't know why not, but I just downloaded an MP3, but anyways, uh, so that is my alarm clock application. Again, there's a lot that you could do with this, um, but I hope that, that this was helpful and just kind of giving you some ideas and to let you know kind of what I was expecting for that.